And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Oh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, Listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Head for Ridgewood Farm, John, and hurry. There are people there in dire need of my tonic. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold for heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with the cog. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize, but the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. You seem to be mistaking me for an idiot. My tonic cures all known ailments, that I can guarantee you. But for the sake of argument, even if it didn't, surely there is still value in giving a person the belief they can feel better. Is that not, after all, the cornerstone of religion? If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine fettle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Diago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow! We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be forming. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the pain. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Voyage camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future! You'd best be a man of your word. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd.
This tonic will restore your youth ah, and rid you of aching bones. <laughs> Friends, hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs, uh, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backaches, swellings, sprains, sore chests, swell of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, old friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye's so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. You're more crooked than a snake in a cat. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the power of the elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Let the battle commence! That tonic won't save you! The power of an ox! You shouldn't have done that! and dissenters, irrefutable proof. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. 
Look, he's over there. Go get it. This ends now. Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Boy, the kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I want a bottle. Get me a bottle, please. One of them, right here. Well, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Yeah. Welcome to you. Oh, 
Hello there. Everything right here is proudly made right here in the USA. A fine choice. I'm getting a new horse next There you go. Hello. Hope you enjoy that. Seems all the railroads these days drop off. Hello. Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Whoa! Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. That's how I see it. Look, Marshal! More vultures! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! They're 
trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. The place looks deserted. Where is everyone? All right, boys. Let's have a look around. Nobody's in the shed. Boarded up. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your pussy ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. I think you'll be needing this. You and me gonna have ourselves some fun. Hellfire! I survived a lot of these. This is gonna be your last one. Do I look like a goddamn bandit to you? Let's get it done! Now back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you! I was convinced I was dead.
it, boys. We need to get into that house right now. Get in the back as soon as it looks clear. Oh, thank God. Keep your head down. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes man up boy we gotta get after those bandits hurry boys let's get out come on let's go Think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe. All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marshal? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Eyes up! You see that? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Oh my God. Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. Oh. 
ain't gonna I'll leave go here walking, friend! Put that gun down, Marston. No innocents need to die today. You bastards killed a lot of innocent people! Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get the bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! <coughs> Hog time. Let's get him to jail. My apologies, mister. <laughs> 